Hey, what's Zeos' new video on? The Sennheiser Clusterfuck. Should I title that? I can't, I'll lose monetization. Anyway, about a year ago, and I know it was about a year ago, I bought all the 500 series. The 559s, 69s, 79s, 99s, and the 98 clothes. Why are there no 89s, Sennheiser? What are you hiding? Anyway, um, they've been sitting here for a year, and I broke them in a year ago, and then I put them back there, and I'm like, I'll get to them, and I'll get to them, and guess what? We're here! We're finally fucking here! And let me tell you, I'm not upset at any, well, there's one pair here that's just gonna, these will be on the yard sale, if you don't know, if you're on the Patreon, if you support, you can bid on things that I'm done reviewing, and one of these sets, I'm going to get $21 for. And you'll find out by the end of this video which set's getting $21. By the way, the cost on this, which is what makes this special, um, HG600s there, HG650s, HG660s, completely different league, we're not even talking about those. All right? Don't, don't even associate this riffraff with those. But these range from 100 bucks to 180 bucks. And there's actually supposed to be six of them, I'm missing the 598s, the most popular ones. I'm missing those. Because this is a Z review, I don't, because I have the 599s, and it's like, well, what if, shouldn't you compare, no, no, shh. We're not comparing those. We're comparing what's on the table and you're gonna shut up and love it. There will be a sound demo in the description, along with links to all of these, and cables and blah, 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 blah. Where do we begin? There are two closed sets and three open sets. Which, another reason that I didn't pick up the 5 and 8 is because then there'll be four open sets and two closed sets. There's no symmetry there, Sennheiser. Give me three closed and three open. Don't, don't give me four open, just, just stop it. Although, you're going to find out by the end of this that that's probably not a good idea either. Do I want to talk about the clothes backs for No, we'll save the clothes backs. You guys like when I'm angry, so we'll save the clothes backs for later. In the meantime, let's talk about the three open backs. The 559s, 579s, and 599s. Good, a nice increment of 20. And again, there's no 589s. I don't know. If you know why, please say so in the comments. $100, $115. Now, keep in mind when I bought these, they were all over 200 bucks, so I'm gonna take a big loss. $100, $115, and the 599s are the $185 pair. So these are the most expensive. And I just sat here for, well, they've been set up on my desk for like a week, and I sat down and I'd do some listening, and then I'd get up and I'd be like, uh, I'd rather, you know, clean cockroaches out from under my stuff than do this review. But I finally sat down and, and gave them the old, gave it the old try. And what I did, my process was, listen, listen, listen. Did the three, I tried to do all five. There's a reason I'm not talking about the closebacks yet. We'll get to the closebacks. Stay tuned for the anger when I talk about the closebacks. But let's talk about the openbacks, because those are actually good. Um... <laughs> Spoilers. Five five nines. You put them on. I, I, I put them on, knowing that they're the cheapest, and the lowest number. The numbers. Look, it's the lowest number. If you if you compare the numbers, it's the lowest. Therefore, it's got to be the worst. Where's the Donald Trump? Wrong. Wrong. Throughout this whole listening process. Every time I put the five five nines on, and then I pick up my phone and I start messaging people, I was fucking fine. I put the five seven nines on, and I'm like, eh, uh, next track. I put these on, I'm, I'm still f okay. And then the closed back ones, I had to very focused on. Listen to them hard because you got to get them off your head. So let's go through the, the bullet points. I made bullet points. There's bullet points. You ready? Let's see how good you are at reading. Here we go. Can you read? You scanning this document it contains if you can read this document you don't need to watch the rest of this 33 minute long review 33 minutes is what I'm going for so I put on the 559s five and I like them I like them immediately I just like them immediately usually I, I like when I did the old set of the um the 558s five, five, what was it, five seven what were the other old ones I did Five, five, eight. And it was like, ooh, like, yeah, this has a thing, but, you know, I guess you could live with that for the price, and you moved on, ooh, and then you get five, nine, eights, we're like, ooh, they're the best. 
five five nines I put on and I have no issue. If I was only given the five five nines, the the, the review would have been I like these. I like these a lot. They have this, this, this. They have they have good width, wide sound stage, a good wide sound stage, open back, good wide sound stage. What you expect? They have a relaxed sound, and this is what I think is going to be more of my bias towards them versus everyone else because. There are some headphones that I want to pull off my wall and I want to be intimidated by the sound. I want it to say, hey, fuck you. Fuck your whole face. And that's the 2000Xs. That's the Grados there. Is like the middle? Nah. But, uh, ooh. There are some headphones that are just like, mmm, sound. And there, most of the times, I want to put on a pair of headphones that I just want to be able to relax. If you don't want to relax, then there are headphones on this table that are good for you. If you do want to relax, you want the 559s. Um, thump and bass. I literally wrote thump and bass. I wrote relaxed sound rolled highs. Because like, then that was a comparative thing. That was like, put this on. And I was actually, if you want to know the secret to actually comparing headphones that are the exact same shape and size, you put on a pair, you pick up the other pair, and you shove the first pair off your head with the next pair. Like a Pez dispenser, but shove out the next thing. And you're just like, and all of a sudden, now you got a different pair of headphones on, and they're in the perfect position. So I was doing that a lot, and it was just dropping headphones everywhere. But, um, relax sound, a little rolled off treble, just a little, just, just enough to, to, to mark it down on a piece of paper. Um, thump and bass. Of all the headphones here, these have the best low end. This is the cheapest ones. The cheapest ones have th the most low end? I'm going to call it the most low end. I don't know if I want to call it the best because we're going to get to how things scale. And I don't usually talk about scaling, but we're going to get to it here because when I did my testing, it was, I started on the Task MMH8, which is a very good unit, but for $400, it's got eight headphone amps, which means $50 a headphone amp if you don't count the other features of it. So let's figure $40 a headphone amp and it's probably center power. So in other words, if I go to my Class A X7S, it's a better headphone amp than this. If it wasn't, it wouldn't be here. I just have that and be done with it. So I was going rack mount amp, class A X7S amp, and then I said, fuck it, let's put the tubes on, tube amp. And I have um, RCAs in this that are borrowed and have to go back to their owner at some point, or I'll pay him for them. I might want to just do that because I really like those tubes. And then even, like, even the hybrid a little bit. But basically, going from cheap amp to expensive dedicated amp, is there a sound difference? And I had all the volumes tweaked to be correct and also the DAC changes because that's using that DAC and that's using that DAC but I've, I've pretty much proven that those two are comparable DACs and then I would go to tubes and I wrote down what the difference was with tubes so five five nines scales with amp both class A and tube which means I went from here to there and went ooh that sounds better and I went from there to there and went, ooh that sounds different um, clarity increase on the class A. So so now, all these have similar efficiencies, except the closed back 598s. Like I have all the all the knobs here on the on this turned, and you could see that there, 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 and there. And the one that's there is the closed back 598s. They have one of their bullet points is way more efficient because I was going and I was doing the swap and I went to those and I went, oh, shit. Turn that down. Ah, turn it down. So, as far as efficiency goes, all these will be pretty much runnable on anything you got. USB powered Origin, Audio Engine D1, uh, Element, Shit Stack, Magni 3. Magni 3 will be enough for everything, pretty much. And then this one, the closed backs are basically just run on any phone on Earth. Air, iPod Nanos, just anything. Bullet point on the 559s. They're the most kind. Right? Do you understand? Like, this is a Z, Z review. If you've never been here, if you don't know, I, I don't get into the measurement graphs. I don't get into the actual frequency response. Uh, this is the most kind set of head cone, headphones here. By the way, head cones, tra trade restriction, copyright infringement. Don't, don't steal my ideas. I think I had head cones once. Anyway, they're the most kind. That's why I was able to put them on and listen to things. Uh, if you, you want to stop the review now, Buy for a hundred dollars. Buy some five five nines. Be done with it. Just be done with it. Maybe you don't need to know about any of these other headphones. Just go. Wife who's available. Download it in the description. Just go get her. She's nice. She's got a little bit of the uh, absolute territory showing. It's perfect. Perfectly subtle. 
subtle, subtlety. I like these. When you plug them into tubes, I wrote at the bottom here, plus four bass, plus three depth. So these have good soundstage. The, you know what? Widest soundstage of the group, most low end of the group, scale the most with amps. Are we, have I sold you the 559s five, five, yet? They're $100, right? You don't need to spend on, on the other ones, but, but, then I started moving on and writing down what the rest of these do. I went back and forth. So now let's stick with the 579s, which by the way, I'd like to point out these are periapt cables and that this one is black and silver and that's matching and this one's gray. And I didn't ask for these. He just sent them randomly and that matches the best. And obviously you're going to go cream and brown. You want hunter orange. So three perfect matches. And I couldn't resist, but this is one of the um, prototype cables. I don't use this connector anymore because it's silver and gray. It's like, fuck. Oh, I want to point out one more thing. That, did I write it on here? Yeah. Of all five of these, this cheap one is the most comfortable. And you're going, how, Zeos? How? They're all identical fucking headphones. Here's how. Um, so this is like a leather built-in solid piece, and that's for the more expensive ones. They all the expensive ones, the expensive ones have it here, and it's like this leather. And then you come in this this closed one's got like a sectioned off one, but it's it's like this same material as this pads. It's like this not even velour. It's like scuba suit. I, I forget the name of this material, but it's like a rubbery material. And uh, and then you, you get to these, and it's like oh, that's a nice soft velour pad. With the floor, this is, these are the most comfortable, also. That's why, again, and I'm a little biased towards comfort, but in this case, it's just, just like I had to go back and forth and put those on. Like, are, is this more comfortable than those? And yes, these are. So, best uh, headband, most kind of about onto the 579s. First thing you notice, the treble is not rolled off. Um, I wrote clear highs, and then I kept listening, and then I put a slash too high question mark with that tone in my voice hmm it's like mm. like if they needed to make them different you, you make one with rolled off highs a little more relaxed you make one with not rolled off highs mm. now these are still good i've used these i use them because the honestly because the cable match so well and it, i, I want to be seen in them adequate base where these have thumping base these have adequate base these are probably the most, like, in the middle of the field that we're talking about here. These are the relaxed, bassy ones. And these are, like, the adequate... They have adequate bass. They have adequate bass. I don't hate the bass on these. And they look... I like the gray, honestly, over the other color. Black is boring, and that's an acquired taste. Noctua fans or that. <sighs> they have okay soundstage. You see, I'm writing... I'm looking at these things, and I write these as they're happening. Like, I could be playing right now and just be like... That's Otis Taylor, by the way. That's all you gotta know is Otis Taylor. And little Susie from Michael Jackson. Yeah. They have okay soundstage. Not great. These have better soundstage than these. I mean, it's not crazy wide. It's not, you know, X2 soundstage. But it's okay. It's, 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 it's good. It's okay. It's a good wide. It's wide. It sounds like you're, hmm. Then you get these on. It's like... It's less out there, it's, it's sort of brought in, but you're getting that treble now, so you've gotta choose, choose the form of the destructor. So you got adequate bass, okay soundstage. I'd call them bass neutral. I actually wrote down bass neutral on top of adequate bass. So, these are so middle of the ground, it's not even funny. Do they scale? with the amp. Yes, they went, they scaled to the Class A, they sounded clearer. Now, I don't want you to think that this is, well, obviously the, the Tascam to that, everything's gonna sound better on that, because that's not true. We'll get to it. So they scale a little better with a better amp, and none of these are hard to drive, but there's something about a higher quality amplification that just makes things work better. It's like running 91, like running 89 versus 93 octane in your car. There's, it's gas, it's old, car runs, but the car runs better. That doesn't mean you have to spend $15,000 on a goddamn headphone amp, just, you know, just consider the better. Moving on, tubes, tubes on this, plus two bass, that's it. Where these had increased depth 
and way more bass with tubes. These just plus two bass. It's like, hmm, that neutral bass is a little less neutral. It's a little more, hmm. And then the treble is just still, so I would, these aren't V-shaped. They're just sort of like flat and then a little treble increase. And I can respect that and I can live with that, 100%. So we move on to the most expensive set on the table, which again, use the nicest cable. Not, and I, oh, by the way, before you get all like, well, Zeos can't test with this. I put this cable on all of them and I put the stock cables on all of them. And I made sure that, I, that you know, that my, my theory that uh, cables don't do shit holds up and it's correct. Cables are beautiful to look at, and you have to touch them, and you have to feel them. And if they're the right length and connector, then you use them. Don't think that you need the goddamn impregnated silver. Literally, I brought it to Thailand, and I had it impregnated. It's only legal to impregnate the silver there. Um, no, no. This is just a nice cable. Because the stock cables, which we'll get to on the... I want to be angry completely at the end of this video. And that'll be just the closebacks. What are these doing? Now, these are the most expensive. Um, that you, uh, why are they the most expensive? Like I'm looking at them like, all right. So instead of this being plastic on top, it's wrapped in like fake leather. But we've already discussed how that headband is not as comfortable as this one with that in there. Are the pads different? Are they like, is there like a, <sighs> they might be a little more rounded. Like I, I don't feel an, like this has an edge and this doesn't have an edge. So, I mean, that's totally worth $85 more. What, we all know what the actual cost is. It's all about the drivers. It's all about them drivers, dog. Which is blatantly obvious when you actually put them on your head to listen. Because these don't... So, whereas these two sounded like similar, like this was just a tuned version of this, or this is a detuned version of this, you know, they're in the same category. This is a completely fucking different animal. Now, let me read my things. Mom, aggressive sound placement. That's a good one. Am I doing this right? Aggressive sound placement. Whereas this had good sound stage, wide. This had okay sound stage. It was sort of like it was brought it in. Um, these, um, let me see. Uh, no sound stage or no narrow. I wrote narrow. I wrote unforgiving. Scales not on solid state. Best imaging though. So let's talk about that. So you switch from this to this, and then you switch from this, to, or either one of these to this. And I'll lump this in with the LCD-4s and the M50Xs. Things go, you wanna hear the detail in your music. These are the way to go. Because everything goes from like, ooh, there's banjos playing to, oh, there's, oh, oh, there's banjos playing. And I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit because these are not bad. These are just a completely different sound. These come in and they, they step up and they're like, all right, th this person needs to hear everything. Where this these guys are like relaxed. The, this guy is just, he's, he's, got, he's got issues. He just needs to, he's making too many words. Too many words. He's, he's the kind of guy, it's a very dry individual right here. So, narrow. Yeah, no, I listened to Yoshi Hirakawa's like, letter, and it never, nothing leaves the cups. Nothing's wider than the cups. The imaging is very good, because it's this wide, and it goes, very good. Whereas this is sort of like, you get far right, and then it comes in the middle and far left, and it's sort of flaky in the, in the interim. The imaging is good enough. Good enough for gaming, good enough for just listening. But this has got imaging, but no soundstage. So let's, how did it do on the tubes? Again, going to solid state, literally between a class A and this, nothing. I got nothing. Maybe, maybe some clarity increase. May, like, like, just n not on SS is whatever, not on solid state. There's n there just wasn't doing it. Where these, literally, this one scaled the most going through things. And these scaled the least going through solid state. But then I plugged it into the tube and Whereas the, the bass went up a lot here and went up a little bit here, this got a relaxed center and a warmth added and cut the highs. So exact, warmth being not bass, warmth being somewhere in the mid-range, just sort of like, mm, it just mm, up. Like vocal, vocal range was sort of like, just smoothed out a bit on, on tubes. Next we'll hear, we'll, we'll do that, and we'll do that, we'll do that. 
And of course, there'll be a track with no vocals. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. The best for you, girl. You know what song that is? You ought to know. Um, warmth cuts highs. I like these in a tube. These a little bit too bassy in a tube. This a little bit more t okay. I like these more in a tube than a solid state. That being said, I don't like the over. This is my personal preference. They're a little bit more aggressive than I'd like. I understand if you want that. Here you go. They're the most expensive. Go for it. You definitely you go from this to this to that. You know, you have more happening. You just you're in it. You're into all the detail. Um, but then you got this right here. See this underlined, unforgiving, Seven Devils? So I had Seven Devils by uh, Florence the Machine, which is a terribly recorded song. I'm gonna point it out. It's terribly recorded. It, it hurts on a lot of things. And it didn't hurt so much on this. And then it hurt a li little bit on this. It was like, eh. And this was fucking unforgiving. It was like, do you want to listen to this song? Fine, here you go. And that's the problem with headphones like the LCD4 and the M50, is when they shove that shit so hard into your ear holes that any fuck up in recording quality is not just apparent, it's unforgiving. That's the title of the video. You like it? I'm making a new spin-off series. So I, you, you can listen to music this all day. As soon as you pick up a bad track, you're going to know about it. As soon as you go through old older Bluetooth with problems, you're gonna know about it. As soon as you do anything that's not absolutely audiophile levels, you're gonna know about it. So keep that in mind with these. These are not forgive. These are forgiving. You could listen to anything all day with these. Same with this. A little less because of the treble. That's why I'd still choose. That's why I sat here, zoning out with these on and not either of these two. Well, especially not those. Those are like, you're listening to me now. Are you fucking listening to me now? You should be listening to me now. Okay. Now the 598's the same thing. Um, they're a little more relaxed. They're somewhere in between. I'm going to link the 598's in the description. I have a full review of them. No one hates the 598's. Wow, what a slogan. I could see it on billboards now. No one hates the 598's. It'll be in Times Square, and then no one will know what they're talking about. Have I talked about the three opens enough? I want to keep this video in like the range of people able to, to watch it without dying. <sighs> this is unfortunate now, because now I have to do this, and I don't, I don't, I, I don't. So, you, you know, these are like add-on cables, and I have to talk about the cables now, because these are add-on cables, and they're beautiful, and they're peri and look at them flow ebb and flow perfectly and they lay down softly and this one is extra thick and everyone likes thick things and then you get did i tell you i bought these a year ago right and i've had them like i had the wires unfurled for a year for a fucking year for a fucking year how long a fucking year and um, it's still janky and that's by the way the definition of janky look at it go jank 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 it's just and that's it and it's just, it's never going to be unjanky. And I, I don't know. I don't know. And it can't, here, here's, I don't remember how they came. So when you buy these in the yard sale on the Patreon, if you're a $5 supporter, you get to buy these. I'm going to probably screw up the wires because I've got a bag. This isn't, this is a Samson bag, but look, I got all the wires. I got all the wires, buddy. But I got a, I got a Velcro clip in the wires. Oh, and this one has, wait. What are you for? Oh, you're. A, oh, yeah. Okay. Who's that? So this one's got a little microphone button. I don't remember which one that is, honestly. I'll have to check, because I took these out and they just felt like crap. And I'm like, do I have to? And then Periop sent me cables, and I'm like, Ugh, they fit. They fit. So you got a choice of short, janky, or long, janky. And this goes, this terminates in a quarter inch. So some of them come with both. 
Some of them come with only the big one. And I don't remember which one it is. It's like a fucking game. Probably the 559s. Honestly, the cheaper ones came with just like one giant quarter inch cable. And it's like, who does that? Why would you sell all these headphones and all these series? And then if you're going to include two cables, if it only had the short cable, that'd be fine. Then the bigger, the bigger quarter-inch cable, which is designed for bigger professional amplifier. Okay, you, you, but only like why, why both? So you can live with the cable, but you're probably gonna want to invest if you just, just, just for the, just for the sexy talk that you'll get from the ladies. So fuck the cables on, on all counts, all counts. Fuck the cables. Let's talk about the differences in build. And the only real differences you can see are the backs. Well, this one's, can you tell it's closed? Yeah. Only these have not, have don't have this like bar. Everything else has the bar. All three of those have the bar. This has the bar. And this one, which is the uh, 598 close, don't have the bar. I'm like, oh, okay, that's, this is the pair I'm gonna get $20 for. If I break $21 on the yard sale, it will be a fucking miracle. Let's talk. <laughs> Let's talk about what I wrote in this piece of paper. Five, six, nines. And these are $150. So these are actually the same price as the clothes bag. These, are, these two, right now, are the same price on Amazon. I think they'll probably start that. Just click the links in the description to find out. Um, the first bullet point says, ugh. U-G-H, if you want to spell that out at home. Ugh. Ugh? Zeos, what do you mean, ugh? I mean, ugh? Yeah, no, ugh. Meh, base. I'm, I'm getting real technical on this, this piece of paper. Shouty mids, exclamation mark. <laughs> this is the best one, this is the best one. Had to check mono. Narrow? I l <laughs> you put them on, and it's like, you get all this intense sound. You ever close the back of like a closed of an open headphone and it, it like gets muddy? Well, imagine if you closed it, instead of it getting muddy, the opposite happened. And you just get all this fucking sound crashing against your head. And then imagine if it sounds like it's mono. And I'm serious. I put these on and I had to look because there's a hotkey that I could easily accidentally press to put it in mono. And I'm looking and there's two things and I'm changing the amps because there's mono buttons here. And, Oh no, that's that's definitely happened in the right channel. These are the narrow wow. Fostex TX zeros are probably the headphone I'd compare these to as far as narrowness. Because you, when you can't, like everyone singing was dead center. Then there was like drums happening, but it was like right in the middle. And I'm like, wait, shouldn't this be spread out more? No, 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 hell no, no. I think part of, and I was like, okay, well, what have they changed physically? I was just talking about that. The pads are this material. And it's this new material that everyone's like jerking off in this fucking material. And it's, it's like suede. It feels like you'd make a wetsuit out of it. Like in, like go to, to go scuba diving. And this is what it feels like. It feels like that sort of material. And I'm like, oh man. Um, all right, let's swap pads. So I pull the pads off the five, five nines. The cheapest ones, I yank the pads off, they just pull off. And I pull these pads off and I put those pads on, I put the pads on. And uh, the first thing I wrote was uh, more tolerable. I wrote more tolerable. And then I went through a couple more songs and I, I swapped amps a little bit. And then I said, still shouty. And then very angrily I wrote, fuck it, exclamation mark. Because these are just bad. These are just fucking, there's no redeemable, I thought maybe a pad swap would miraculously change them into some beautiful fucking butter, no, fuck these, fuck them. Five 69s. You'd think the 69s, some of the Sennheiser would be like, hey, let's make the 69s the best one. Cause you know, <laughs> when it's like when you're upside down with a girl, <laughs> no, no, no. No, and it's not the wire, and it's not the amp, and I tried the amp. I didn't even write down the various amp. Like, the, 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 it wasn't worth it. For, it's not worth it. It's not worth doing that. Why are you crooked? Because I did so many bad crooked swamps. Okay, so moving on from the 569s, let's move on to the ones that people are actually watching this review for, which is the 598 closebacks. 
So I had the 598 SEs here, and I gave them a listen, I gave them a listen against this, and I went, okay, well, I think I'm gonna, you know, the 599s are, are a little bit more up there in the range, and we'll, we'll compare these, and I put them on, and I was like, oh no. I wrote less UG. I wrote UG here. I wrote less UG. Because Sennheiser, you know what? They really have a hard, hard time impressing me with a closed back. They just can't do it. They're the opposite of Mr. Speakers. Mr. Speakers closes something, I fucking love it. He gives me open back ethers, and it's like, hey, I like the closed ones better. And Sennheiser, uh, name a closed back Sennheiser. The 380 Pros, 280 Pros, and they're monitoring cans, but they never impress. I mean, I use the 280 Pros for fucking ever. Then I got the 80, the 820s out, and it's like everyone wants to spend $2,500 on those, and I'm just like, they, they don't know how to make a closed back headphone. Anyway, less UG. Imaging exists. These had so narrow that you, there was no imaging. It was just a center ball. There's my ball of sound, and that's where the sound exists. These actually had things happening left and right. Moving along. Definitely stereo. That's a bullet point that you want to see in a review. The 598 S uh, closebacks are definitely stereo. Uh, good hiss. And I wrote Spirit of the Sky. Because if you watch, if you, Norman Greenbaum, Spirit of the Sky, use it for sound demos. And maybe I'll use it for the sound demos for this because I haven't recorded that yet. And it's going to be three songs per. So it's just one video that you could just time jump to the different songs, the same three songs for all the headphones. Good hiss, which means good deet was you there. When you put on a song that has like a, a hissing from like a vinyl rip or something, how well you hear that is like, a, that's a good indicator of if, if you know it exists in the song and you didn't really hear it in something else and you put it on, it's like, ah, that means all the low, the low detail, the quiet detail you're going to get. So I put that as a point. Good hiss. Um, treble and mids hurt. Now, I don't want to go off on a tangent and tell you that the treble mids hurt so bad you can't use them, because you can use these headphones. These are actually an acceptable purchase. But I I made the mistake while, while listening to these. I mean, this was a, this was just a joke. There was, no, there was no mistakes to be made with this. This was I made the mistake while listening to these to go and put on these, or, or those, or any of these three. So no matter what, you know, these are the really aggressive ones, and these are like the little highs, and... The, and Compared to the 598 closebacks, I will take any of these. Because the closeback just hurt. You could just sense it. They did a better job on this than that, even though they're the same price for some reason right now. I guess these are in demand. But it's just not, it's just, mm. It's not a seashell sound. It's just a, um, like, you need to not, Sennheiser. You need to not not do this um way more efficient we already discussed that where i had to I almost blew shit up because these things were just like oh too loud oh too loud so again the that's a driver change are definitely more more efficient drivers than this the exact same material as this on the pads so the pads are identical however the headband in this is the leather like Oh, fake leather. This is fake leather. This is fake leather. This is fake leather. This is the most comfortable because it's a velour and separate pad. And this is not as comfortable, but still more comfortable than the fake leathers. Of course, it's a. Are you the velour? Yeah, you're the velour, but in the center, you got a thicker, a thicker pad. Now I want your scales. So does it scale between amps? Uh, nope. No, nothing. That, cause it's, and that's partially because it's more efficient. The harder a headphone is to drive, I'm looking at you HD 600s. The harder a headphone is to drive, and I'm looking at you fucking ethers. The harder a headphone is to drive, you, you know, you give it more power, it's better. And all oh, T20s right there, hiding into the T20s. Is Rem watching over you? Good. Um, because the T20s up there don't fucking work properly unless you put eight watts of channel into them. And you're like giggling, ha ha Zeus, but I have a Magni 3. Fuck you, until you've put an unbridled just speaker amp powered through them, you've never heard T50s or T20s. Argon Mark III's are a little different, we'll get to that in their review. But oh yeah, no, those, those, those don't just scale, those don't work. I mean, you've heard T50s, all of you have heard it until you plug them into that, and then you're like, oh, 
Oh, so these change amps, nothing happens. That one? How about that one? I even plugged the blower in, nothing, nothing was happening. If I blew them in there, blew them. If I blew them in there, as soon as I turned the volume to where it would actually make sound, they would have just lit on fire. So they don't scale at all, which is good in some ways because then you don't have to worry about it. Then if you have, you could use goddamn onboard or USB pad, just, it's just gonna fucking, that's it. It's as good as it's gonna get as far as power is concerned. You always want a better quality amp, but you don't have to worry about more power. Um, Sound Sage, dot, 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 not really. Dot, 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 not really. And that's the killer. Whereas these are a fucking fucked up ball of death. These, they have imaging, but they, they don't. That's why I'm comparing them to the 599s. Because it's like, ooh, fucking intense ball of sound. Ooh, fucking intense ball of sound. Good imaging, both of them. Good imaging. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. But no soundstage. Nothing happens outside of where this line of this is. And on closed headphones, that's very hard to accomplish soundstage. But that's why I have so few closed headphones up there. Even the $30 retros with the massive pads, you put those on, and yeah, they're, they're not accurate. And you're losing a bunch of, of, of information in the middle, but oh my god, when a sound happens over there, it's happening over there. Now, the only headphones that do closed end quality end sounds are the fucking ethers, and those are $1,800, so I wasn't expecting 180 well, actually, what are you, $150 pair to be ethers, but there's other headphones in the middle that sort of like reach out and touch you, and these are not touching me. They didn't touch my good bits, or touch my bad bits. So, we got decent imaging, no sound stage. Like, I mean, you know what this makes them, right? Listen to hear in the words, good imaging, l low sound stage. Uh, what did I say about the bass? Mm, probably neutral. I didn't write it down. If I don't write it down, I thought nothing of it. It's not good, it's not bad, it's not hot. I did write when I changed, I did the pad swap on this as well, and I did the tube run on this as well. So. They actually have less bass on tubes. Because you're not pushing the tubes hard enough, the tubes relax, and they don't make bass. So unlike way more bass, a little bit more bass, what did you do? You did a warmth in the mid-range. You actually lost bass with these on the tube. And then I wrote more width, which is good. You want more width. But then I put a slash pain highs. Pain highs. Welcome to pain high. We are, you know... Major pain is there. That was a reference. All right, he was good. I like Damon. Was that Damon? No. Who was that? Don't know. Anyway, yeah, no. The the highs get painful because when you, when something's efficient, it, it skews everything when you throw it on a tube. It's just like, oh, I don't want to do. So don't tube these. Don't tube them. Even one more. No, no. Um. Then I swapped pads. Like I said, because I was I had them off and I just said, okay, take this off. Fucking garbage. Take this off. Let's try that. And. The bass went from okay to eh, eh, because you need the seal for, you know, they, count, they built it like that. And then I wrote, lifeless, don't bother. And that's specifically for with the pads on. Because when you put the original pads on, it gets that seal and it gets that intensity. It gets that intensity of a closed headphone that they want. But when you swap it out to, you know, big open floor pads, it loses that intensity. And then it's just like eh. And that was at that point where I swapped from the 598 closed backs with the velour pads to I think the 579s and I went oh my fucking god why am I even bothering with these closed backs either one of these closed backs why am I even bothering because all three of these are better now some people need a closed back and it's unfortunate because I don't want to I don't want to recommend I certainly th this is not even a, it's not even a thing this is I'm just gonna here look I'm gonna very gently hang it from its cord on the floor just that's where you belong um these are still okay enough. I mean, they're at $150, right? Yes, 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 great. And I could list on fucking, how, how many places do you want me to list the headphones you can get instead of this? I'll go from the hardest to get first. Techstar Pro 82s. Um, the Ricardos. The Ricardos are gonna be part of this shootout. I was gonna have three open and three closed. The Ricardo is gonna be closed. And Ricardo's would have fucking walked these two. Just fucking woo! <laughs> walked these two. 
Um, so you got the, the Pro 82s, the Ricardos, uh, the Monoprice Retros. I mean, if you're not going for like clarity, you just want fun and what? Fucking $30 plus $30 for the pads and you're done. Just got to deal with an attached wire. Um, M40Xs. Uh, uh, Status Audio CB1s, if you can get them. They're not as well built, but oh my God. Status Audio CB1s, like, like the M40s, I, I love them. And you need to do a bunch of mods to them. You got to change the cable and you really need the pads. You really need those wide pads. Status Audio CB1s just fucking rock. They'll break, but they rock. Could be another one. What's another closed, sub $150 closed back that I recommend? I know they're out there. I, I just listed five of them. All right? Five of them. Five that you don't have to buy these because you could get any of those five. So, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm, don't worry. I'll list all those in the description if I can find them. The Pro 82s are getting harder to find. I know there's at least one more that I'm missing out on. Hell, I'll even throw those goddamn one mores in the list. The one more gaming headset. It's a USB gaming headset. I'll take it. And you don't have to use it USB. You can just plug it in like a normal headphone. Because one more doesn't make keyboards. We'll get more to that in the other video. If you've been watching all my videos, that's like, Zeos doesn't make keyboards. And that's, that's going to be a t-shirt. Okay. I think I've yelled and bitched and complained enough. Sorry, 569s. You suck. And sorry, 598s. There are better options for the cost. You, you have a very specific crowd. People who want to be fucked. I mean, not by other people by like sound so okay and um you i like a because i like the gray i love the gray but here's the winner literally the cheapest set a hundred dollar fucking set if you just if you don't know which ones to get if you're not sure and you're okay with just a little more relaxed listening you just want to hear we're just gonna we're just gonna put these on ah high school of the dead soundtrack music to my ears. I'm serious, like this is like, there's some intense shit happening right here. And it doesn't hurt. And I'm, I'm getting older, and that's usually when people lose the highs in their ears. And that's why Grado exists, because old people buy Grados. Because they're so intense with the highs, that old people can hear, you know, they've all, my father can't hear above like 12. 12,000 hertz. It's like, it might even be worse now. So of course, he would have to turn the treble way the fuck up to appreciate anything, just to have his eyes rattle or something. So I should be going for the more trebly ones, but no, no, no. These are the chillest. These are the most comfortable. They're the cheapest. They're the winner. They're the winner. These are okay. You know, the very specific fucking person wants those. And if you want, if you get these, and you think they need a little more. Uh, Less bass and more treble than here you go. So here are the two, only two, okay. But um, yeah, these two. These are the cheapest. These are $15 more. There's no cost difference, They're just sound changes. And then fuck the, well, specifically fuck the 569s. The 598s, there are better options. And you guys, crystal clear, crystal clear. Just so intense, I don't want to listen to you. Personally, me personally, me me person you me if you have these you don't like my opinion say so in the comments i'm i'm okay with other people having opinions as long as it's not always different from mine mm. i'm gonna say his name without be too fucking thing um k all of these every fucking single one of them i have all their boxes i have all their wires sort of um i'll figure out which goes where you don't get any of these wires these are my babies can't have them they'll be on the yard sale in the month following the public release of this. So if it's, it's probably not gonna be April. Although I could probably shove it out in April. If it's April, if you're watching this in April, um, you buy these in March. Yeah, oh no, May, May! May comes after April, fuck! Ah! And sound demos in the description and Patreon link in the upper right and Patreon link in the description and what else, what else? That's it. Links to everything. I'm going to make 500 links in the description. And... Good.